Good morning, Super Trackers. Why you should never go to TA for uh, for a repairs? Let me tell you a quick story. Uh, about about a year ago, we did send one of our uh, 2019 uh, utility trailers for uh, for an annual inspection, and the closest place was a uh, TA. So we did send it to TA because we knew the trailer is in good shape and it's pretty much just a matter of paperwork. Uh, the results came out uh, amazing. Uh, we, we actually got back to us and said that uh, this trailer won't pass the DOT inspection, the annual DOT inspection, uh, because uh, it's missing shocks. I'm like, holy crap, how the fuck are we driving without no shocks? So the first thing we did we called the utility with a uh, VIN number and all the good stuff just to see how much are the shocks and <laughs> where the hell did the shocks go? And uh, utility looked up, we verified the VIN number and everything else and uh, we, we gave us an answer and that was, sir, this trailer is not supposed to have no shocks. It's 100% air suspension. There is no shocks. So now, how in the hell the people at the TA who fix equipment every freaking day do not know simple crap like this? We failed an annual inspection on the trailer for having no shocks that shouldn't have a shock shocks in the first place. And this is just one story out of quite a few that they have under my belt. Uh, next story coming up about how I did the transmission overhaul and uh, I think uh, I think it was a uh, Laramie Wyoming TA or Rollins Wyoming TA, but I, I forgot by now. But I know it wasn't Wyoming. I know it wasn't TA, and I know that was a uh, major transmission problems that ended in the in the overhaul. Stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe and see you later, Super Trackers.